recording? Yeah. Just keep recording for a second. All right. You ready to go flying? <laughs> no. You, you want to stay on the ground? Yeah. Okay. How about if How about if, if Dave has the sticks? Then when you fly, okay. <laughs> is it just me? Yeah, that's what you're talking about. So Cliff here is also a uh, ventriloquist <laughs> and a first-person video pilot. So here we have the Eagle Tree OSD. It does GPS and fly to home. FMA co-pilot. Keeps it level. Full pan and tilt camera. Zoom too, Cliff, or just pan and tilt? Oh, no, no zoom. Nice. And then the uh, radio beacon. If it gets lost, you'll be able to track it down and find it. And what's this red guy here, Cliff? That's my GPS antenna. Oh, okay. For the OSD? For the OSD. And then what's this here? That's the e-logger. Eagle Tree e-logger. Okay. Logs your voltage and amperage. Well, I think it's trying to return to home because it lost the radio signal. <laughs> Notice it's got a little bit of left rudder back there. It's trying to circle in and come home. <laughs> it's a runaway. Here's Cliff's directional antenna for the uh, video feed. Demo demons, Cliff. Oh, so it's not returning to home, it's just jacked. There's Cliff's goggles. There's your uh, first person video goggles with audio. Camera for recording. The cameras and the goggles both have heads up display for altitude, GPS heading, a little radar overview couple of batteries to keep it all powered. That was my fail-safe, actually. Oh, okay. fail-safe. Oh, man, it looks like the rudder's trimmed left and fail-safe. Is uh, that on purpose? No, it's not now. It's actually... I think the normal flight, this airframe is so crooked from all the crashes. Oh. <laughs> it actually needs to be trimmed left. So this RF beacon out here on the end of the wing sends out five beeps in succession um, an hour after you plug it in. And each, each of the five beeps gets a reduced power so that you can tell as you're getting closer you get more beeps, which is pretty cool. So it goes beep, 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 beep. All right, here we go, Cliff. Oh, I got to calibrate. Oh. Oh, the FMA co-pilot uses infrared to keep an eye on your horizon and keep you flying level. It's got the retractable video antenna down there for the trans video transmitter. It uh, retracts back in when it hits the ground. That's an advanced retraction system. Really sophisticated. Fail safe again, Cliff. This is a... Uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? The sky? What is this called again, Cliff? The uh, airframe? It's the the Wild Hawk. That's right. He's got a Wild Hawk fuselage. Well, that's weird. I keep losing my. Look uh, at your look at your rudder and elevator. They're moving. That's uh, that's because it's still calibrating. Okay, that's I was, calibration. I was getting fail safe like this. Anyway, it's a Harbor Freight Wild Hawk airframe with a Park Zone Radian wing. Just rudder elevator control. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't think he's gonna launch yet. I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna fly it. I keep getting my... Uh, Fail safe? No, it's just my, I keep losing power to my module. Oh. He's using a Futaba, Futaba 9C transmitter with a, uh, is that a Spectrum module? No, it's a Dragon Link module. Uh, from Hobby City? No, it's just custom made. It's a long range UHF. Oh, okay. Control link. I see. You may have noticed the uh, three AA batteries on the nose there, just for weight, not for power. <laughs> That's to compensate for the extra weight of the video transmitter in the back. The cool thing about this radio beacon on the wing here is that it doesn't turn on until an hour after you plug it in. So it doesn't start beeping until for sure it's lost. 
put the plane down somewhere you couldn't see it. What do you think, Cliff? Uh, well, I've got, I've got control now. <laughs> now is all you need, five minutes. Of... <laughs> well, I just guess I'll just keep it over the, over the park, and if it goes down, hope the wind won't blow it across the street. Yeah, your co-pilot will keep it level all the way down, right? You going to put on the goggles or just throw it up without them? The goggles on in a minute. Okay. Here we go. It's a little bit wobbly. Those Park Zone Radiant wings really bow up in flight. They uh, look like a Boeing 777. Now there was the takeoff. We'll film the landing later. 